In this video, we will learn how to clean a vice trainer in a CNC turning center. When the spindle is running, coolant absorbs heat and reduces friction between tool and workpiece for smooth material removal. In case the coolant flow decreases, it will affect component finish and reduces tool life. In a CNC turning center, coolant flows through the vice trainer and three-point manifold, splitting to tool turret and spindle top junction. Coolant from the pump passes through the vice trainer, which traps chips and contamination in its mesh and lets clean coolant flow through. Both vice trainer and the puppet valve components work together to filter chips and control coolant flow. The vice trainer is used in coolant lines to trap chips and protect pump and nozzles. Tools required, a clean cloth, spanner, coolant collection bin and air gun. Now let's learn how to clean the vice trainer. First, make sure the machine is turned off and safe to work on. Position a tray under the strainer to catch residual coolant during removal. We are using a spanner to loosen and remove the strainer cap. Next, carefully pull out the mesh filter screen from the strainer body. Here, check the chips caught in the mesh. Manually push out the chips from the mesh. Fine particles can be cleaned by air gun. After cleaning the mesh, carefully inspect it for any damages, pores or signs of corrosion. If you notice any damage, replace the mesh to maintain proper filtration and coolant flow. Once it is clean, make sure the o-ring is in the cap, put the filter back and securely tighten the cap. Always install the Y strainers, strainer leg facing downwards, if upwards chip may fall back into the flow causing clogging and inefficient filtration. If the Y strainer gets blocked, you may notice the coolant flow is weak or uneven. A clean strainer ensures a strong steady coolant flow. That's it. By cleaning the Y strainer monthly or more frequently in high chip load operations, you keep your CNC machine running smoothly and prevent expensive problems. Subscribe for more CNC tutorial and share your results in the comments.